I'm the proud mother of Chris because I know exactly what Chris was like. He had a great personality and loved life. He was a loving and caring person with a contagious warm smile. He was a genuine friend to many and respected his friends. Approximately two months before this happened, Chris called me one afternoon <coughs> and said, Mom, I've sold my bike. And I said, Chris, why would you do that? He had a motorcycle that he, he loved. He said, Mom, I got worried that I might have an accident. He said, and I want a life. I want to live. I'd like to have a future. He graduated from Halls High School in 2002. He worked for a law firm and also Reader Chevrolet <coughs> before going to American Motorcycle Institute at Daytona Beach, where he received certification in watercraft and motorcycle repair. He was also an athlete. He started playing t-ball at age four and played all the way through high school. He also played basketball, golf, and football. He enjoyed fishing, the beach, NASCAR, hanging out with his friends, and he loved to ski and snowboard. He was also an artist. He won an award in middle school for a charcoal painting or picture that is hanging in our home right now. He loved his truck and he kept it spotless. He had bought it and paid for it by himself. He planned to find the right girl one day and marry and have children. <coughs> he loved children and his nieces and nephews loved him. He would have been an excellent father. I will never see his wedding day now or hold his babies. I can't even imagine how scared that kid must have been during this terrible ordeal. He would have never hurt anyone. He enjoyed helping people. This has taken a toll on our entire family. I am worried for the safety and I think about what has happened day and night. I have many sleepless nights. I remember Chris telling us one day that he would take care of us when we got old. Well, that day is coming, but Chris won't be there to keep his promise. My life will never be the same because of a senseless crime by people who have no regard for life. And my family will never be the same because one of us is missing. Thank you.